everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and a reviewing BYND. This was a really nice trade yesterday uh, for many, many reasons, which I'll go over. But I called two puts in this yesterday and the day trade yesterday, which worked. And I called another put in this today. Then it dropped. Then it backed up. And it expires tomorrow. So we'll really see where this goes. I think this is going to have another drop off. I think it's going to happen fairly quick. I really don't think that this is going to hold here, even though it pushed back tonight. Um, and we did the day trade this morning, and I didn't get out when it dropped down and broke 117. I should have um, got stopped in it, and it ended up retaking it here now. So we'll see where this goes. This has a, a lot of momentum in it to the downside. It's been selling off like hotcakes, quite frankly. Um, you know what? I have to look at when the earnings are in this. Anyways, here's the chart. So I'm looking for the next area to be 115, right in here, snug as a bug, and then down into 113. You know, could that happen in the next 24 hours? I don't know. You know, I, I, but I one thing I like about this, and the reason that I like this yesterday, and the reason that I like this today too, is this is on its own without the market. Let's just pull the whole market here. So this has pretty much flatlined here since one o'clock. Well, since lunch. No, since 11. Have we gone anywhere since 11? No, we, we flatlined since 10.15. Hmm. Um, if this gets help from the market, this could drop off again today. If it doesn't, I still think this bothers through it continues lower tomorrow. So the one nice thing I like about BYD, and if you've ever traded this as far as the options trades or day trades, if you've never traded this, you don't know this, but I'm telling you right now, this trains wild as an option. It can fluctuate a lot. And even though I wouldn't consider 120 a cheap stock and I wouldn't consider it a crazy expensive stock, but it's funny because this stock trades the same as it did when it was all the way up here. Um, just going back, we had done options in this when it flew, flew like the Dickens, over 150, over 200. And it was wild trading then. This was back 2019. It's hard to believe it was two years ago. But um, it, it trades the same way. So it's fun to trade as an option. And it is fun to trade as a day trade because it gets a lot of momentum. Anyways, I just called a trade in this right in here if you wanted to do it. Um, around 120.50-ish if you wanted to get in. And I put a tight, 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 tight stop right here. So we'll see if this is going to hold and go, preferably, down to the low, uh, which would be almost four bucks, basically, if it can do it today, which will more than make up for the stop in the day trade room this morning in this, and then the option would get going again, too. Remember, options are like balloons, where the air blows up in the balloon when the options chain gets big, and it starts to make, you know, be up in the money and get green, and when the air goes out, then it's losing the profit that you're up. So you want to exit options trades when the air is big, not when it's losing air or before the, it loses the air. And uh, so we'll see if we can get a nice sell up in this. We've got plenty of time left in the day, but I should have got out of this early this morning. I'll show you what I did this morning. I, I was up in this this morning. I got stopped. Here, this is what I did this morning. I didn't have no sleep last night. I was just not, not well rested. I shorted this in here, dropped for a buck and a half, right around 118, dropped right away. And I really thought this was going to continue. I didn't get out. I should have gotten out once it started to lift over 117, and I didn't do it. And then I ended up getting stopped. But I think it was just lack of sleep there that I missed my exit. Exiting trades is as important as entering them correctly. So we'll see where this goes today. It's trying to break 120. It'll be a nice place to take more here and to add. <clears throat> so good luck, everyone. Good luck, everyone in the put. Good luck, everyone in the day trade. We'll see where it goes. If you're interested in the Golden Gap courses this weekend, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you want to sign up. Have a good day.